midway through 2024 and the, the themes are pretty much the same although we are seeing more variation in performance across some of the sub-markets. Um, the price upturn that began about 18 months ago has carried into the first half of this year but momentum has slowed particularly in Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, turnover has been a little bit uneven. Um, the key theme is still around this tension between very stretched affordability uh, and shortages of supply. Um, where conditions have softened in Sydney, for example, that looks to be uh, seeing some nobbling in demand that affordability has become a little bit too stretched. Um, the markets that are outperforming, uh, Perth, Brisbane and Adelaide, are by far and away the tightest. Uh, rental vacancy rates are well below 1% in many cases. Uh, the on-market listings barely covering two or three months of sales at, at current uh, levels. Um, so that pattern is sort of there also in the smaller capital cities, but to varying degrees and to different, um, the different themes slightly uh, from city to city and in regional areas as well. Um, this month we take a bit of a closer look at rental markets. Um, they've been a key underlying driver of the resurgence that we saw begin about a year and a half ago. Um, that sort of came off this uh, net migration inflow, sudden tightening in rental markets and a sharp escalation of rents. Um, the latest data suggests that surge in rents is starting to come off, uh, starting to slow, um, but markets are still very tight and that's likely to remain the case even with some slowing in population growth. When we look at those markets in terms of their returns, uh, that surge in rents is in many cases has outstripped uh, price growth, particularly for units. Um, and so yields are looking a little bit better um, and looking a little bit better than the returns, uh, so gross yields looking a little bit better than returns on uh, interest holdings, deposits and shares. Uh, but they're still a long way short of the cost of funds. So it sort of suggests that what we're seeing in terms of a lift in investor activity is probably going to remain quite muted until we start to see an interest rate easing cycle come through. So investors already look to be outperforming the market a little bit. Um, but they probably won't gain real traction until the next policy cycle uh, easing comes through. Um, more generally, we remain pretty comfortable about our call that prices nationally will be up about 6% this calendar year, although the performances have shifted a little bit. You know, Sydney and Melbourne likely to be in the 0 to 5% range for price gains, uh, Brisbane and Perth in the 10 to 15% price range, uh, Adelaide in between. More generally, it still looks to be a story of moderating price growth. We think some of the things that are showing through in Sydney and, and Melbourne will start to become factors in those hot markets uh, in Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth as we head into 2025. And even with an interest rate easing cycle, price growth will start to moderate back to around about 4% nationally. Uh, but, but overall, you know, there'll still be some support from interest rate cuts as we move into next year. So it's a, yeah, more of the same thematic for housing uh, in midway through 2024, um, but some subtle shifts, I think, between sub-markets and some things to watch for as we head into 2025. The content of this recording is informational and of general nature only and is not intended to constitute a research report or reflect any recommendation or financial advice. It has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs and investment decisions should not be based on it. You should obtain your own independent advice before proceeding with any investment decision. Whilst every effort has been taken to ensure that the contents are correct and any opinions, forecasts, conclusions are reasonably held based on information at the date of recording, Westpac does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of the statements or information contained in this recording, and any liability therefore is expressly disclaimed to the extent permitted by law. None of the material included in this recording should be copied, published or reproduced in whole or in part without the prior written permission of Westpac.